Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited and a little nervous. I don't want to break the internet. I have a fragrance here, a sample of a fragrance that I have been asked my opinions on more times than I can count. It seems like I am the only fragrance reviewer on YouTube that has not smelled this yet. Today we're going to be talking about the S Boy For Him by Draco. And there's a little bit of controversy around this. People say that it is overhyped. It's not that great. It's very interesting to read the reviews on this because there's some people that say that it's horrible. And then there's a whole other side of people that say it's the best fragrance on earth. It is their one fragrance collection. It's all they have, it's all they wear, and they will wear it for the rest of their life kind of dedication. I have no idea what to expect. I ordered a little decant, which was, by the way, very hard to, not too hard to find, but no like reputable decanting website seem to have it. Let's just pray that this is an authentic product. If you are even worse than me behind the curve and haven't heard of S Boy For Him, the notes in this, just really quick, might as well go over the notes because it's a very interesting breakdown. We have vanilla, we have amber and musk, coconut, lemon and iris with lavender, peach, caramel, sandalwood, tonka bean, jasmine, oak moss and rose. So let's talk about random. I really just hearing those notes have no idea what to expect. I'm guessing it's gonna be something gourmand. I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be a little heavier, like winter time, but with coconut in there, I'm not exactly sure what to think. So I don't remember what size I ordered, but this little thing is not very full. <laughs> I've been waiting to open up that sample for this video. So let's smell it, let's get a first impression. I honestly have no idea what to think. Horrible, horrible sprayer on this little guy. I'm gonna spray it on my skin as well. All right, it's a moment of truth. What is my honest, true opinion? It's really not, okay. Perplexing. I don't know why. The very first thing, and I don't know if it's just because I'm not traumatized, but the Le Mans Elixir, it's gotten a lot better as it has macerated. It's still not my absolute favorite scent. There's something a little, off about that scent that I just, I can't really get behind. My first thought when I smelled this was Lamal Elixir, but done in a much smoother way without that tobacco, like that spicy tobacco, this kind of has that same smooth tonka. I could be totally nuts. That was just the first thing that came into my mind. I like this scent a lot. I don't know. Like when I smell it, I actually picture it more for me. It's definitely a very complex gourmand scent. I for sure get this kind of coconutty tropical feel, but I also smell the iris. It's a very distinctive, pretty, not really overly powdery, maybe just a little tiny bit cosmetic. I guess that caramel tonka note, you definitely feel sweetness from the tonka. I don't know if I could say that I distinctly smell anything caramel. I think that it all just blends together and gives it a sweetness. On the skin, it's a little darker. It's not quite as like light and tropical on the skin. It's a little bit darker. You get a lot of that vanilla, a lot of the tonka and that coconut with the iris. I think it's a very enjoyable scent. I don't know. It's not what I was expecting at all. I just based on the reviews that I've seen, I was kind of expecting like this ultra manly bomb, you know, like the epitome of masculinity is what I thought of this scent, just listening to people talk about it. It's very sexy in a very gourmand way. You guys know that I love to smell gourmand fragrances on a man. If you like or don't like the Lamal Elixir, I think that you'll like this one. It, I'm telling perplexing is the word to use when it comes to this fragrance because there's something that is very, not simple, but very casual feeling about this, like very staying in on a Friday night, Netflix and chill kind of smell, but also there's something about the florals in this that makes it smell very elegant and very like a beautiful date night scent. This is not something that I would say should be just marketed towards men though. Now when it comes to the price point, I'd have to test how long it lasts on the skin because I know this is a little bit pricier. It's like $245 or something like that. On the skin, it is much more simple smelling. It's definitely lacking that freshness. Like on this strip, I smell a lot of that lavender. It's very bright, but on the skin, it's darker a little more toned down like it's it's like one of those fragrances that 
it's going to mix with your skin chemistry and it's gonna bring out totally different aspects on every person, if that makes sense. Like on me, I get more of that kind of like a dark floral, a dark rose with that kind of very subtle coconut. It's a very realistic coconut. It's not like a coconut milk, like a suntan lotion kind of coconut. And it's very ambery as well on my skin. And I feel like on the next person's skin, maybe that lavender comes out more. Maybe it smells more like it does on the strip because it's totally different on my skin versus here. But very nice, very enjoyable. I think it's a great scent profile. I think that in the designer world, in the fragrance world, <laughs> what people usually wear, you know, Dior Sauvage, Blue Chanel, those kind of things. I think that if you go for something like S Boy for him, you're gonna smell different because not that many men out there are brave enough to go for a sexy, sweet gourmand fragrance. But this one is dimensional. I think that a lot of men will be able to wear this one because there are a lot of balancing aspects here, a lot of complexity as well. It's really nice. I really like it. It's not what I was expecting at all. I was really expecting a darker, powerhouse, manly man kind of scent. But this is really good. It's got my vote. I need to see how it lasts if I think that it's really worth the money or not because that is a huge factor. 200 and something dollars is not a cheap fragrance by any means. It's not something that you should just, you know, go out and buy without testing out at all. Which is interesting why there's not more places that carry samples of this. It's amazing how different it is on the strip than the skin. I get a lot more of that like very green lavender, very fresh powdery lavender versus on the skin. It's much more sensual, much darker. I really love how this smells on my skin, you guys. Oh my God, I can already tell all night long. I'm not gonna be able to stop smelling my hand. Really, really surprising. I, I like it a lot. I'm gonna test it out. Maybe I'll give you guys my updated thoughts later. I just wanted to film a quick first impression because <laughs> I've gotten a lot of questions on my thoughts on S Boy For Him by Draco. So now you guys know, I do really enjoy the scent profile. Is it worth the money? Time will tell, but on my skin, this thing is sexy. And this is definitely a scent profile for a man that is going to drive women absolutely nuts, for sure. Anything with a sexy, dimensional, gourmand sweetness, women, the women are going to be lining up. Trust me, I know. It's scientifically proven that women go crazy for gourmand fragrances. So yeah, guys, that was fun. I'm glad I got to smell that fragrance. Thank you to everyone that's asked me about it because you finally pushed me to get out there and to find a decant of it. So if you guys, have tried S Boy. What are your thoughts? Please leave a comment below if you like the scent. Is it overhyped? Is it overpriced? How does it perform? Please help everyone out that's interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.